Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. N. Samira. In this video, I am going to introduce about Esculite. First of all, what is this Esculite? So Esculite is written in ANSI C and it is an open source relational database management system. And if you observe the name Esculite, actually this is SQL Lite. That is lightweight SQL and it is named as SQLite. So lightweight means it is in terms of its setup, database administration and required resources to run it. Why we need this SQLite actually? So it is free. So it is open source. There are no commercial licenses required to work with it. It is a cross-platform database management system. So it can be used on a broad range of platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Unix, Linux, etc. It can also be used on a lot of embedded operating systems like Windows CE, Symbian, Android, etc. And it is efficient enough. It offers an efficient way of storing data. The length of the column is, is a variable, not a fixed. So SQLite only allocate space that a few needs. For example, if you have a varchar column, which is having the size of 200, and you have assigned only 10 character length value into that column. So in that case, SQL, SQLite only allocate 10 character space for that column instead of allocating 200 space. So in this way, it is efficient. And coming to this point, a broad range of SQLite APIs. So SQLite provides APIs for a broad range of programming languages, for example, like .NET, PHP, Java, Python, etc. And it is flexible. SQLite variables are dynamically typed, which means that the type of the variable is not determined until it is assigned a value or not defined at the time of declaration. So only whenever the variable gets allocated with some value, at that point, its type is decided. With SQLite, you can work with multiple databases on the same session at the same time. So what you need to do is just attach these databases and then you can access all the database objects like tables, views, etc. at the same time. The next question is when to use the SQLite. So if you are developing an embedded software for devices like tele, uh, televisions, mobile uh, phones, home electronic devices, etc. SQLite is a good choice. And SQLite can manage complex sessions information for a website also. And also it handles low to medium traffic for the HTTP requests. And when you need a database system for learning and training purposes, SQLite is the best option. So it doesn't require any installation or configuration. What we uh, what needed is actually just copy the SQLite libraries on your system and you are ready to go with the SQLite. Coming to the features of the SQLite. SQLite is self-contained. As the name itself indicates that it is self-contained. Everything is within that only. So it requires minimum support from the operating system. This makes SQLite, it can be uh, used in many environments, especially in uh, mobile devices like Android phones, iPhones, etc. And SQLite is serverless. Here also, as the name suggests that it doesn't require any server. So it does not, doesn't require any client server architecture to operate. So SQLite database is integrated with the application that accesses the database. The application interacts with the SQLite database by reading and writing directly to the database files stored on the disk. SQLite has zero configuration. As I said earlier in the previous slide, SQLite requires zero configuration because it is serverless and you do not need to install SQLite before using it. Therefore, uh, there is no server process that needs to be configured, started and stopped. 
in addition to this sqlite does not use any configuration files and last but not least sql is transactional that means uh, all transactions in sqlite obey the acid properties like all queries and changes are atomic consistent isolated and durable coming to the limitations of the sqlite right outer join and full outer join sqlite does not support right outer join and full outer join it only supports the left outer join and also uh, we have a limitation for alter table using the alter table we can only uh, can able to add a column to the table or we can able to rename a table by using the alter command uh, some other operations are not allowed in sqlite and coming to the views in sqlite views are read only that means we cannot perform insertion deletion or update operations on a view if at all we want to perform them we can go with the help of triggers so you can create a trigger on the view to do these uh, all these kinds of operations grant and revoke commands so these commands are not implemented in sqlite there are only normal file access permissions implemented in sqlite and this is because sqlite reels reads and writes the disk files unlike other database management systems and coming to the triggers sql supports only for each row triggers but doesn't support each statement triggers so this is all about sqlite uh, what is sqlite why you are using that uh, where we can use it and what are the features of the sqlite and what are all the limitations of the sqlite hope uh, this video will give you the brief introduction to the sqlite and in the next video we will uh, uh, learn how to uh, get started with the sqlite and thank you for watching the video and please subscribe for more interesting technical uh, uh, content thank you